Hello everyone. Today I am going to do a Malay dish. Okay, it's called bagade. It's a potato cutlet, and the traditional way of doing it is they would take potatoes and cut it to about three to four mm thick and deep fry it in oil for some time. But I'm omitting that process. Instead, I boil the potatoes. I've taken five for my family who can eat two three of this bagade each. Okay, the fork must be able to go through quite easily, not too soft because then then it would break in the oil okay the ingredients we need is oil i've already put the oil on slow flame here then you will need for four people to eat happily you will need at least five small size boiled potatoes but not boiled till extremely soft like for mashed potato no this is cooked but you can mash it up right and then i've got one large onion cut to small pieces like this you know, cube to small pieces one red chili de-seeded and chopped up to tiny pieces. This is the down soup, okay? You just take about 10 pieces of leaves and cut it small. And here we have spring onions with the stem, cut small also. Cut very small, the stems as well. Okay, and then we've got one egg and coarsely pounded black pepper and salt. Okay, so I'm going to eat, heat up the oil. Bergedil antini lain sikit daripada bergedil yang orang Melayu buat. Orang Melayu buat dia akan potong kentang tebal-tebal lepas tu goreng dalam minyak memang sedap lah bergedil tu tapi anti buat cara uh, rebus rebus kentang sampai masak tak, tak. tapi jangan terlalu masak macam untuk mashed potato ah. dan apa yang diperlukan ialah macam biasalah satu bawang besar yang dipotong dadu kecil-kecil satu cili merah buang biji dan dipotong kecil-kecil daun sup daun bawang dengan batang daun bawang tu semua dipotong kecil-kecil lepas tu ada lada hitam Kasar, ada garam dan telur sebiji Itu saja ya Lepas tu saya naikkan api ya okay, Sekarang saya lenyek-lenyekkan kentang Kasar-kasar ya. sikit So kita, kita boleh pegang cutlet ya okay, Sekarang dah panaskan minyak Jangan terlalu panas Saya masukkan bawang Goreng bawang I'm frying the onions That has been chopped And I roughly mash the potato This is best done while the potato is hot Okay As a tip it's nicer if you peel it while it's hot and start frying the onions and dropping it in. Okay, now I'm going to add in one teaspoon of coarsely pounded pepper and some salt. We'll taste it later. Yeah, some salt. I will add in all this down soup, the minced red chili and the spring onion leaves. And I'm going to break this one egg. If you want, you can put a pinch of salt onto the egg. And do not overbeat the eggs. You need to roughly beat it. And these onions, you have to keep stirring them so that it is slightly golden all over and not browned on the edges. Okay? And once this is fried, it goes directly into this. I'm going to lightly beat the egg, very lightly. Because you need the egg to be roughly beaten so that you can coat this and deep fried. Okay, I have a tip for vegetarians. This can actually be a vegetarian dish. And if you do not take eggs, I suggest you make a slurry with uh, rice flour and corn flour. Just a little bit, a thick slurry. And put the patties in the flour and fry. So you do not use egg. Okay, can you see the color of the onions now? At this stage, just take it out and drop it into your bowl. Mix it and start making about uh, like a vada size, not the huge vada, but the vada size patties. And then I'll come back to you again uh, after I've done the patties. Okay, dari lima kentang kecil tadi, lima biji kentang sederhana ke kecil tu, saya dapat sepuluh macam ni ya, cutlet macam ni, berkedil macam ni. Memang ada orang yang masak dulu daging ayam ke daging apa-apa dan masukkan, tapi nanti buat yang plain saja hari ni ya. Okay, from the five potatoes just now, I've got about ten cut cutlets like this, the size of a small vada. Huh? And people do cook meat, chicken and all that and pre-cook it and add it to the potatoes sometimes but I'm making the plain version and I'm making the boiled version. The actual version will be thick slices of potatoes cooked in oil, medium heat oil cooked and then mashed. Okay, But I'm omitting that process and now I'm going to start the frying. I'll show you a couple first then I'll finish off all the frying and show you what it looks like. Remember do not overbeat the eggs. Okay, saya akan memasak beberapa ketul dulu dan lepas habis goreng, semuanya saya akan tunjukkan. 
Jangan terlalu besar api dia ya Sederhana saja Kalau terlalu besar api dia nanti bergedil tu macam coklat sangat Ini semua orang boleh makan lah Orang India boleh makan ni dengan apa-apa pun Orang Cina pun boleh buat ni Tak salah ya Orang India kalau makan ni sedap kalau ada soti Yang uh, kuah santan tu Memang sedap kalau makan dengan tu Lagi dengan mungkin dengan kari ayam ke Sambal sambal apa-apa Peretel apa-apa Dia boleh blend dengan semua tu sedap saya pernah tengok di kedai dulu orang Cina ambil ni dua tiga makan dengan nasi ni anak-anak kecil pun boleh makan kalau rasa macam cili tu aa, terlalu pedas untuk anak kecil buatlah satu dua sampai cili buang cili tu lepas tu aa, buat ni ini bila kita kepal-kepalkan biar kuat sikit nah sebab dia direbuskan Jangan takut kalau tak boleh kepal ke, tak ada minyak ke. Minyak daripada bawang goreng tadi pun dah cukup. Dia boleh tolong kepal-kepalkan dia dengan kuat. Kalau vegetarian jangan tak mau telur, boleh juga. Tapi buat uh, satu adonan sikit uh, dengan tepung beras dan air sikit je. Lepas tu celup dan goreng. Ataupun taruh cornflour saja, tak payah air. Taruh cornflour, ketuk-ketuk yang lebihan tu dan goreng. Untuk yang vegetarian Okay, this is yummy yummy Bergedil I guarantee made as what I showed you Most people will love it One thing I must tell you When you take these patties out It should be this color both sides huh? Don't go darker than this Put it on absorbent paper So whatever oil there is Will get absorbed, okay This is after I remove the paper So look at it It's really pretty And it's really really yummy Children love this Okay Just uh, if they are very tiny And can't handle chilies Do some for them Without the chili first Okay Enjoy Don't forget to like Subscribe And share my recipes And do let me know What you think of my cooking so far I would love to read comments Good or bad Okay Okay bye